five, four, three, two, one. You are done. Kevin would have been a senior when I was a freshman in high school. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am getting ready for today. It's a day off, but we literally have every errand on the planet to run today. So we've got to get on top of it. This is my first week back from vacation. And so I always feel a little just jumbled because I'm playing catch up. Oh, I actually am seeing my parents soon, which is really exciting. I haven't seen them in over six months. And so I am getting COVID tested just to be safe. The city of Seattle thankfully has testing sites for us um, that are incredibly accessible and your results are available online usually within 24 to 72 hours. So just put on my favorite moisturizer. By the way, thanks so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I literally thrift their clothes all the time. In fact, this shirt is something that I thrifted from them, I think, about a year and a half ago. So I'm actually about to weigh myself. Um, not super excited for this. Not gonna show you guys a number on the scale because uh, she's sensitive, but let's see. Okay, I feel like I actually need to subtract the weight of this camera. That's probably so heavy. Okay, I have to put you guys down. Whoa, that really scared me. You guys were an extra three pounds I was carrying. Here's the thing. I mean, I think, I think I'm just gonna say it. Like, I gained weight. And I've been getting some comments about me gaining weight. I mean, I barely gained any weight. I think I gained like five pounds-ish, which I think when I gain weight, a lot of it goes to my face. I did go on vacation and I did eat a lot of food. So this is probably not an expected outcome. Slowly, I think over time, it'll just get back to normal. And that's all that's important to me still religiously using this color correcting serum thingamabobber. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I often will get little breakouts, especially around that time of the month, um, which is now. In order to correct that like redness from my underlying pimples, this works wonders. I am kind of sad because literally two weeks ago, I had probably the best skin of my life. Okay, just changed my outfit real quick and put a headband on. And um, for the first time ever, I'm like wearing an accessory, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that was the first time I took a vacation and was really conscious about not trying to do work. And it actually worked out really well. I have had to get COVID tested one other time and that was my first time getting COVID tested. And the person who tested me was so rude and so mean. I honestly was kind of traumatized. Is anyone else like this? I will literally have all my stuff ready before I even turn in because the thing that brings me the most anxiety is making other people wait because I hate waiting. So I'll have you verify the name. And then this is super simple. All you have to do is just scan the QR code in one or two days for the okay. Let's go ahead and relax, breathe through your nose, we'll be done in about 25 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are done. Thank right, you Nikki. so much, appreciate it. Hey. It was not very comfortable at all. <laughs> Kevin literally texted me and asked me if I got Chick-fil-A, which of course I didn't, what do you mean? It's right next to the testing site, which is why he knows. Well, actually, he just knows me really well, I think. Mm. I'm gonna pack this package in the car because I didn't have time to pack it beforehand. I try to do a good job of running all my errands in one go. She even brought tape. On my way up, I actually picked up all of my packages. So I got all of the things that I had ordered from ThreadUp. If you aren't already familiar with ThreadUp, they are actually the largest online thrift store. So they literally have products from all of my favorite brands, including Lululemon, Madewell, Nike, etc. It's literally the convenience of online shopping, but you get the insane deals of thrifting. So I feel like it's the best of both worlds. I think I first discovered ThreadUp a couple years ago when Ashley Best Dressed was using ThreadUp. And I was like, oh, it makes so much sense to thrift my clothes and save money and it's also better for the environment but let me show you what I got 
This is an Athleta track jacket. I literally always go into their store, but they're kind of pricey, so I've never purchased it. This is probably gonna be my new favorite track jacket. The retail price was gonna be $106, and I got it for $38.99 on ThreadUp. It's literally in such good condition. And then these super cute track shorts are actually from Reebok. I got it in white to match the top. The retail price was $48, but I got it for $17.99, which I think is a steal. Oh my god, you guys. I'm literally in love with this dress. I hate that as a woman, you wear a dress once and you pretty much can't wear it again to another event. And so I hate dropping a ton of money on something that I don't need to. So this dress is a cocktail dress from Express. Originally, it was $80 and I got it for $22.99. I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to wear a cute dress out is, but... um. It's nice to have it. <laughs> this is a cute little sweater vest. I've been looking for a crop sweater for the longest time. I've literally seen this skirt in store before. It's from J. Crew. I have a really hard time dropping money on luxury items because I don't like to spend money recklessly and I work really hard for every single dollar that I earn. So I actually ended up thrifting this bag. So this retails for $1,225 and I got it for $272, which is honestly kind of unreal. I've always wanted a white designer bag because I wear a lot of white and neutral colors finally i need to get back on my fitness routine and so i did just get a bunch of really cute workout clothes just so you guys know you can actually use my code mickey to get 30 percent off your thread up order this is of course in addition to their already low prices and amazing deals so you definitely don't want to sleep on this one i'll leave the code as well as the instructions in the description box if you want to check it out so I wanted to show you guys a little life hack that I use. So if you literally look up stickies on your MacBook Pro, these will pop up and I always have this on my desktop. It never goes away, but I keep track of the store credit. So if I return something online and have store credit for it, then I will keep track of that here. And then I also have credit card rewards. So for example, I have the Amex gold card. And so every month I get $10 off Uber Eats and $10 off Grubhub, but I find myself not using that reward. Literally, if you don't keep track of it, sometimes they just don't refund you okay i'm about to make some dinner or some sort of modification of it but i just wanted to show you guys some of the things that i've been really loving eating i'm a really big snacker and so a lot of the times i snack on stuff and if that stuff is junk then my whole diet is junk first off we have hippies this bag is literally empty because i ate all of it i am so in love with hippies and the other thing i'm in love with are dang chips but they are snacks that are just healthier for you and made with better ingredients likewise I've also been trying to replace the breads that I've been eating. I'm the kind of person where I will go to the grocery store and literally just buy the cheapest version of whatever item. So like if I go to Ralph's and there is the Ralph's brand that is, I don't know, 10 cents cheaper than the other bread, that's normally the one that I'll get. I actually really like Dave's Killer Bread. I do feel like if I have too much white bread, I sugar crash really fast. And with this bread, I feel like it's been much, much better. And so with the bread, I actually have been loving almond butter, which I've already gone through like half a can of this and it hasn't even been that long. This is the Simple Truth Almond Butter. I do really like it. I think it's a little bit less flavorful than some of the almond butters that I've had, but it keeps me from eating too much of it, which is always a win. And then last favorite are these Partake chocolate chip cookies. These are so delicious. They are three cookies for just 150 calories and they are top eight allergen free. And so they don't have nuts, egg, wheat, dairy, soy. I remember taking my first cookie and not really liking it, but they grow on you so, so fast. Whenever I go on little road trips and stuff, this is my go-to. I think you can get them at Trader Joe's too. That's probably the cheapest option. For dinner, I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm just gonna make some ground pork, some broccoli. Always cook your rice first because it takes the longest. <laughs> Oh, speaking of replacements, the one thing that I have a hard time replacing is white rice for brown rice. I don't know, white rice just tastes so much better. Let me know if you eat brown rice and if there's a better tasting alternative. Pretty sure as long as you know how to make rice, that makes you um, wifey material. You guys know I literally hate eating vegetables. Getting an air fryer has been the one most life-changing thing in getting me to eat anything green. All I do is spray it with some olive oil and then salt and pepper. I got this air fryer off of Amazon and it's seriously life-changing. We'll do 360 at seven minutes.
Does anyone else just feel like they're like not wifey material because they are not master chef? Like, why is the woman in the household expected to be able to cook? Yeah, like, what the heck? Like, I have an education, I have a job, I know how to do other things, but still makes me really insecure that I am not Gordon Ramsay. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Holy shit, that's actually really good. I take it back, definitely wifey material. I'm low-key starving and it still says there's eight minutes, but Kevin taught me that if there's less than 10 minutes, it's probably done, which clearly it is. I have been obsessed with black sesame seeds recently. I can't even describe it. Pretty proud of myself. I know this is really simple and really easy, but I had to bring all this stuff to the bedroom so that I can watch my Korean drama. I literally finished all of Mr. Queen in one day. I also watched the bonus scenes. It was so good. Also watched True Beauty. I mean, honestly, this is why I have no friends. I just stay home and watch K-drama. Please comment down below if you have recommendations for K-dramas. I literally feel like I've exhausted everything. This is what I'm gonna try. The frowned clown. Uh-huh, the later it goes, the colder it gets, huh? <laughs> what? So you're not gonna help? Well, you're gonna have less Kevin time then. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. What? I'm out to do the work. Are you going back to the other yeah, lens? Yeah, I'm not on the Sigma lens. Why? Oh, it's so pretty. Hello. Who? Me? I'm so pretty. Yes. Oh, your hair is so cold. I told you it was cold outside. All right. Dinner talks with Kev. I was talking to them about how I don't feel like wifey material. You are wifey material. I was so cute. It's actually so funny how like at so many points in our lives we were in the same place at the same time but just <laughs> never met. We were both in Japan at the same time. 1996 to 2000. I was there from 1996 to 2002. We were in SF for a part of the same time. We were in LA. Kevin would have been a senior when I was a freshman in high school. But we're only two and a half years apart. That's, that's why. That's, that's, that's it was like start. so sketchy. Like, could you imagine if we were in high school? No, because you're like on the older side for your. I'm year. like the oldest in my year. Don't forget to go to ThreadUp and use code Mickey for thirty percent off your order. And don't forget you're a ten out of ten, and don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. Bye.